guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button let's get right into this video so today we are going to do some beginner friendly summer nails finally some summer nails it's about time so here's the inspiration for this nail set today it's a very cute simple design perfect for beginners and it's just nice and colorful for summer. So here's what we're going to need for this nail set. We're literally not gonna need that much. I just have a nude poly gel from McCart and I'm finally using a different nude color for once. We also need a neon pink and orange. And also I have this gold gel polish. So yeah, that's literally it. So let's just get right into this nail set. For the record, I'm starting these nails at exactly 6 p.m. So we're gonna see how long these take. I kind of have a time limit. I'm hoping these nails only take me like three hours. So we're gonna skip the nail prep. All I did was kind of just take out any excess poly gel product that was stuck in my cuticles. If you wanna see how I do nail prep, just go watch any of my last videos. Most of them have nail prep in them. But all I'm gonna do is file over the surface of the nails. Okay, now I'm gonna put on a peel off base coat. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna size out the nail tips. Okay, tips are sized out. Now I'm gonna glue them on using some base coat. And I have my nail lamp here because this is how I have to glue them on. And I'm just using base coat because it's easier to cure the nail tips onto this peel off base coat. Like regular nail glue just doesn't wanna stick to it. Okay, tips are glued on. Now we're going to trim them down. And because this is a beginner friendly nail set, I'm gonna do them short like that. Okay, now I'm just going to shape the nail tips. Nail tips are shaped. Now I'm going to take a fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to remove the shine from all the tips. Now I'm just going to add on a layer of base coat. Okay, so let's get into this poly gel application. I'm going to use this nude poly gel from Cart, and all the nails are just going to be this one color. So I'm gonna start and just add a bead of this poly gel onto the nail, and then I'm gonna pat this out and push this towards the cuticle area. Then I'm just gonna drag the poly gel to the sides of the nails. We just wanna cover the whole tip before we get to smoothing it and also pop any bubbles that there might be. Okay, so once the whole nail is covered, now we're gonna get smoothing it out. So I'm just going to start at the sides of the nail, kind of pat around the poly gel, then drag it down towards the tip to smooth it out. Do you see how this lump of poly gel is biggest in the middle here? I want that to be more towards the back right there. So I'm gonna drag it backwards. And 
and then now we were able to move that extra poly gel right here which is where we want it and then just going back to smoothing out the nail so i drag the sides up towards the tip and then i just drag my brush over the entire tip of the nail And then getting the spatula part of a poly gel brush, I'm just gonna take off this excess and then do some final touches, and kind of smooth out anything that needs to be fixed. Okay, so once the nail is nice and smoothed out, I just make sure to do one final like check around the cuticle area before I cure, just to make sure that there's no flooding. And I think it looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, now I'm gonna do that same thing on the rest of the nails. So I'm just gonna repeat that same process. So on the middle finger, I just put one big bead of the poly gel all the way down the nail, and then I start smoothing that out. Sometimes I start off by smoothing out the tip of the nail, kind of just spreading the poly gel around a little bit, and then I go and work at the cuticle area and make sure that's all situated get that poly gel as close to the skin as i can but still leaving a little bit of a gap because we don't want the poly gel touching our skin and then like curing that it's just not fun it doesn't look clean that's also what causes lifting for your nails if the poly gel is like cured onto your skin at the cuticle area So I do the cuticle area and then I start focusing at the tip of the nail and smoothing that all out and just dragging off any of that excess poly gel on the nail. I've mentioned this in like many of my other videos, but I like to put a little bit more poly gel than I need. So that way it's easier to smooth out the nail because all you have to do is just drag all that excess off and the nails look nice and smooth. But if you put too less poly gel and you have to keep adding on more, first of all, that takes much more time because you have to blend in the added poly gel with the poly gel that's already there and it'll just be harder to get that smooth application so i just like to put a little bit more poly gel on there and you can just save the excess and put it back into the tube and that's kind of the way i like to do my poly gel nails another thing that really helps is having a more stiffer poly gel especially when you're doing the nails in one bead so i'm doing these nails in one bead because they are short and also because i know that my poly gel is more stiff so i have a little bit more time to smooth out the nail before the poly gel starts to run and flood the cuticle area but if your poly gel is more on the runny side i would recommend doing your nails in two beads so basically you just put a small bead of poly gel at the tip of the nail smooth that all out fit it to the tip and cure that layer and then you go in with a second bead of poly gel but this time at the cuticle area and on top of your natural nail and then you just blend that in with the tip of the nail poly gel and that way it gives you a little bit more control you know you're not trying to focus on two parts of the nail at once and it'll give the poly gel less of a chance of flooding the cuticle area the only thing if your nails are on the shorter side definitely try and keep that first bead at the tip of the nail really thin because with short nails it's really easy to make them too thick so yeah that's just my couple of tips i have with smoothing out the nail and building the nail and because this is a beginner friendly nail set i really want give some good tips for the nails and also i left this part of the video in normal speed real-time speed that way you can really see roughly how long it takes me to do each nail and it'll be easier to see exactly what i do to build the nails So some good poly gels that I recommend that are on the more stiffer side would be McCart poly gel, definitely. McCart poly gel is just my favorite. I feel like it's the perfect formula. Like it's not super thick, it's not grainy, and it's not runny at all. Like it just 
is so perfect. I don't know. It just stays in place and works so well for me. But other poly gels that are on the more stiffer side are like SXC poly gel. I think there's another brand. I can't really remember it, but I know SXC poly gel is another good stiff poly gel. It's a bit more on the grainy side though, but still really easy to work with. But some poly gels that are on the more softer side would be like Model 1s or Savvy Land poly gel. It's kind of up to whatever you want, but still it's good to know and to learn using different formulas of the poly gel. That way you can use any poly gel brand that you want because some poly gel brands have different colors that the other ones might not have. You know what I mean? So it's good to know how to use the different consistencies of poly gel. Okay, so all the poly gel is on. I don't know why I really like short nails like this. I don't know, like every time I do them, I'm happy with them. I'm not like, no way, like these are too short. Like I like them, I enjoy them. Anyway, here's how the color looks. You know, I haven't used this nude color on myself in a while. But I think it's good. So I just have my McCart Dust Collector and a hand file and we're just gonna get reshaping these nails.
Okay, nails are shaped. Now we're going to get into the nail art. So let's start off with the easiest parts, which is just painting the full nails, these colors. On the thumbnail, it's just going to be a full neon orange nail. I'm just gonna add on a second coat, make it a little more opaque. And then on the pinky nail, this one's going to be a full hot pink nail. Okay, I don't think this one needs a second coat. I think it's good. Just with the one coat. So onto the nail art, I have my dirty mixing plate here. I'm just gonna take the colors and put some on the mixing plate. And for this nail art, we're just gonna need a dotting tool. I feel like maybe the most challenging part of this is gonna be spacing the flowers out correctly. So for the nail art, for these flowers, I don't know why, I just stopped talking in the video. I think I was really trying to focus. So that's why we're here on the voiceover. But for these flowers, you basically just want to make a circle of dots. And I did five dots for the petals of these flowers. And I had the reference picture right next to me. So I was able to look back at the picture and that kind of helped me to space out the flowers around the nail. So it's always good to have like a reference picture by you so that way you can easily look and it'll just help guide you a little bit. And then I just alternated the flowers between the pink and the orange. And on this nail, I just kind of made a little mistake. Like I didn't like how the flowers were placed. So I just wiped them off and redid them. I left those parts in because you know with editing usually I just edit out my attempts just to make the video a little bit quicker usually with nail art most of the time it takes me a couple of attempts with certain nail arts or nail arts that I don't normally do so it's okay to you know make mistakes and just clean them up and retry Okay, so I just have some of the gold gel polish and now I'm just gonna do the center of the flowers. So all the nail art is done now. I think these are so cute and so summery and colorful. I also think pink and orange is such a great color combination. So yeah, that's pretty much the nails. Now we're going to finish them off with some top coat.
now we're just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. These are so cute. They are simple, but I do like this design. And I like that it's simple. It was easy to do. And guess what, guys? I finished at 8.15 p.m. So it only took me two hours and 15 minutes to do these nails. That's like a new record for me. What the heck? I think that is so good. So this design was very easy to do. The two painted nails, you know, those were easy. And then the flower nails were easier than I expected actually. Once you get the hang of how to space out the petals, like the five dots, and then also spacing out the flowers around the nail, it's pretty easy to do. And I think they turned out really good. But yeah, this is just a really cute, simple summer nail design. I love the combination of pink and orange. There's something about it. I don't know. I love that color combination. And I would definitely recommend trying these nails. It's just something fun and simple. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this nail design. Maybe if there's another color combination that would work with this, let me know in the comments. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!